Good day guys, welcome to RTRC. So, I've had this question a couple of times and I thought I'd kind of just put it to bed very quickly. So, what I've got here is a Radio Master Nexus. And I also have an FR Sky Radio. Now, clearly within the documentation and everything, first, first things we see, oh, ELRS, ELRS, and that's fine. I've got an ELRS module in the back. But um, you know what? I don't want to run ELRS in this case, and I would actually prefer to use the the FreeSky Twin system, which is also a LoRa system, but um, it runs a system called FPort. And um, I essentially have one of these little receivers here. So um, I kind of wanted to show you that yes, you can get FPort to work with a FreeSky receiver on the Radio Master Nexus, and a little bit of how you do it too. So, I'm going to pop this into the um, camera here, and hopefully you'll actually be able to see this. Just give me a second to pull these things up. So, taking a look over here, we have a FreeSky receiver, and you can see I've soldered in just three wires. Ground, voltage, and sport. That is the S port pin on the receiver. And um, you'll notice that's been done. I've used the cables provided by the Radio Master um, Nexus. So it came in the box, all the cables. And essentially, I've wired in three cables. And you'll see they go, if we look on this pin here, ground, positive, and then the green one, which I've used. And that's going to the transmit pin on the UART on the flight controller over here. With the aim that I have, I'm gonna plug this into there. So um, essentially we have receiver, fly ball, this unit. Quite simple really in the big picture. So where does this lead us? I guess I need to show you in rotor flight. Um, and I guess I wanna also just clarify, there are a couple of things I have done for the sake of brevity within this video. I have already bound my receiver to my transmitter because I, I think this video is not about telling you how to bind a receiver, it's about telling you how to connect it. Now, oh, sorry, I'm busy doing multiple things over here because I'm getting my radio plugged in and I'm getting distracted whilst trying to video. So essentially what I have done is I have bound the receiver to the um, radio and I've also gone into the receiver options and I've set it, rather than use an S port, I've told it to use F port. So um, this is a very key step and it's kind of out the remit of this, but essentially I'm telling the receiver to use the F port protocol. And that means that on the pin over here, which I've wired my green cable to, I'm then using F port. So to keep this simple, we then take the receiver, I'm gonna plug it into the USB here so I can verify this works. And if we look at my computer screen, Boom, we are straight into rotor flight. Now, dealing with this is quite easy. So what I've done here is I've gone into configuration and first things first, because if you recall earlier, I plugged into the CRSF port, that is the default of port A on the Nexus. And I've set that to be a serial receiver. I've then gone through to the receiver page and magically, well, first of all, you'll notice I've got things moving. But what actually matters here is I've changed it from TBSCR, well, CRSF to FR Sky F port, enabled inverted signaling and one wire communication. Gone down there, in fact, I'll just, boom, let me do that there because I wanted to save. I've then clicked save and reboot. There you go. We'll reconnect. And if we go to the receiver page, we have comms. Now, the only other thing you might want to do at that point is enable and disable telemetry down here and turn on all the sensors that you want because, you know, the whole point of using this is to have sensors. But, um, yeah, that's kind of it. It's a simple three-wire protocol. Let me unplug that. you got F port, wired it into the um, respective pins for ground, voltage, and sport, configured the receiver to be F port, plugged it all in, adjusted rotor flight, magic, it's done. Radio Master talks utterly perfectly with FreeSky, no issues at all. So, fantastic news. Anyway, guys, enjoy. Cheers.